It is a new year and a new beginning, so it is the perfect time to break any bad habits. That, of course, includes smoking. Now, when it comes to quitting and staying quit, it is important to have a plan. You don't want to wing it if you want to become a non-smoker. Fortunately, here in Monroe County, there are groups and there are people who want to help you get to that smoke-free life. Jeffrey, thank you so much for being on the show with me thank, this morning. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to reach everyone and let them know that we exist. Yeah, well, it is important to let people know that you do exist, Jeffrey. Let's talk about your program. Okay. The name of the program is Quit Smoking Now. The organization that it's under is really the health department, and the branch of the health department is AHEC, which stands for the Area Health Education Centers. Uh, AHEC is statewide, so this program is available everywhere in Florida. Mm -hmm. You can start here in Key West, and you can move to Orlando or uh, the East Coast. Wherever you're at in Florida, we follow the exact same program in helping people quit. Okay. Now, Jeffrey, why did you get involved with this program? Uh, very close to someone who passed away because of smoking and came to find out that that's not very unusual. Uh, this person um, became, well, first was smoking, started smoking in college, which again is not very unusual, and became sick. First it was asthma, then asthma turned to um, bronchitis. Bronchitis became emphysema, which they call COPD when you have amph uh, asthma and uh, bronchitis. Then uh, it became difficult for her to walk. Uh, walking became canes, then a walker, then a wheelchair eventually becoming completely bedbound, mm -hmm. and we, there wasn't enough medical care in this particular area, so we moved to another area where there was more medical care. Uh, being in different hospitals and different care centers and rehab centers, I found that not only was my friend sick because of smoking, but a lot of people were sick because of smoking. We don't realize it. When we uh, look at people, we, you hear all the time, that smoking is bad for you, but bad doesn't really cover it. Mm -hmm. There is so many people, such a large part of our population, that is really sick because of smoking. Mm -hmm. Your eyes were really opened up then to the causes of what smoking can do because of this friend who eventually passed away from it. Yes. And when someone, when someone makes the decision that they're going to smoke, smoking, Nicotine is so addictive. It is the most addictive uh, drug known to man, more so than opiates, than cocaine, than the uh, drugs that are being misused on the street. We don't give the kind of respect to the addictiveness of tobacco because you can walk down to a local convenience store gas station and purchase it. Mm -hmm. You can't go down to the gas station and purchase heroin but more people die from nicotine than they do from heroin. Isn't that scary, too? It's totally frightening. It is so scary. Uh, just recently, the tobacco, it was just a week or two ago, there was articles in the news where the tobacco companies are going to be made to put out a public apology for the amount of people that they have made sick uh, throughout. And they're going to have to post signs everywhere. But apologies doesn't help you a whole lot if you're bedbound or sick. And the numbers are pretty phenomenal. Last year alone, in the United States, 480,000 people perished because of nicotine addiction. That's, That's too large of a number. It's, it's huge. It, it, if you could fill two 747s full of people, two aircraft full of people that would crash every single day and kill every person on those planes, that's how many people are dying from cigarettes. Mm -hmm. When we just recently were remembering the people that died in the attack on the World Trade Center, there was 3,000 people in each one of those towers. 6,000 people died that day that the aircraft hit the World Trade Center. Yet 6,000 people die every single week because of tobacco in this country. Every week. And we just, we just forget them. We don't see them. Mm -hmm. Again, they're, they're in rehab centers. They're in um, hospitals. They're at home with home health care. We just don't see how many people. And it is the, the addiction to nicotine makes people think, well, not me. It might happen to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the percentages of chances, if you start smoking as a preteen, if you start smoking as a child, which many of us did, uh, you stand a f and you don't quit. You smoke until you're 60. You stand a 50-50 chance of dying from a smoking-related disease. 
Those aren't very good no, odds. They're not at all. If you start smoking as an adult and you don't smoke and you don't stop by the time you're 60, you stand a one in three chance of perishing because of nicotine. Mm -hmm. Now that's not even the scariest part. The scariest part is for every one person that dies, there's 40 people that are suffering from uh, uh, chronic illnesses mm -hmm. that are caused by the nicotine. Things like emphysema, bronchitis, macular degeneration, which makes people go blind. And perhaps people have seen the recent public service announcements on all media about tobacco, where you see people with amputations and people that have lost their eyesight. Mm -hmm. These are not uncommon. No, These happen regularly. Yeah, they absolutely do happen regularly. And now that we've oh, got people aware of the facts and everything, and I'm sure that they were even aware of these facts before, it's important to get help, to have a group, and you are offering classes. This totally weekend. free. Totally to, free. To, totally to free. The we have two. We have two actual ways that you can quit smoking. One is called Quit Smoking Now, which is a six-week program, and you get four weeks of product, all totally free. Mm -hmm. And you, if you still can't quit at that time, you can sign up again and do the whole six weeks over again and get the product over again. That's our regular Quit Smoking Now program. Then what we've got coming up this weekend is what's called Tools to Quit. And Tools to Quit is a two-hour presentation, and it's going to be at the Doubletree Hilton in Key West on South Roosevelt. And that starts at 9.30 in the morning with croissants and coffee. That ought to help you quit. <laughs> right, right. And of course, for more information on any of this, just check out the email address and the number that you see on the bottom of the screen. Jeffrey, thank you for being on. This well, thank you so much. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. You're welcome. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages with Tom Oosterhout from Concolor. Stay with me.